What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel once again here at Surreal Entertainment. Today we're wrapping, or well, we're starting to wrap the Mazda Speed 3. Stay tuned. Alright guys, you guys can see that um, I've been telling you guys on this channel for quite some time that we are going to be actually wrapping the car and we are wrapping it in matte black. I've already wrapped this fender here, turned out great. Um, I've already wrapped these guys here and then these um, so on both sides that's done and I've already done the mirrors mirrors are a little bit tricky I had to do it a couple of times until I got it right but I got it correct after the fifth or sixth time now we're gonna be doing the left side which is the driver's side uh, fender I've already removed the fender flares you guys can see there's uh, no fender flare at all I've already disattached a little bit of the bumper so I can get under there really well and then I've also unbolted the fender here on the bottom and I've cleaned it thoroughly make sure you guys have clay bar you're gonna need to clay bar the surface first you need to wipe it down completely without all any kind of debris or oils or whatever it is on there clean it real well until your towel is completely clean every every time you wipe it after that you're gonna clay bar the surface that's if there's any specks or any kind of chunks or anything like that the clay bar will pick that up and it will remove it from the surface. You don't want to have some kind of a dust speck that's going to mess up your whole wrap job in the middle of everything when you're 90% done. Because trust me, I've learned the hard way. We, we tried doing the other fender at least three times until we got it, you know, to be right. Um, I've never wrapped in my life and this is why this is happening. If I were a professional wrapper, this would be done in one time and call it a day. But I've only watched YouTube videos as you guys are watching this one and that's how I've learned and I've decided to wrap my whole car and I am going to document it here on YouTube. So we're going to wrap this fender. I've already pre-cut a piece for it that goes pretty much right over this and this. So I will show you that in a little bit and um, like I said I've already removed the, the fender flare. I've cleaned it very well. I've clay barred it. I'm going to clean it once again right before I apply the, the vinyl and make sure at the time that I apply there's no wind or any kind of dust again don't do this outside do this in a closed garage where there's no dust or any debris alright guys so if anybody is actually interested in buying the same material this is the exact material that I'm using it's a 1080 series from 3M it's a uh, flat black and this is what it looks like and here is the actual piece that I've already pre-cut as I told you guys this is a fender that I actually got from the junkyard which was the replacement fender for the one that was already bent and stuff. Um, I'm just mocking it off of that and pretty much this is how it is. I have some extras on all sides and I'm just going to go ahead and lay that on the car now. So here are some tools that you may need uh, before wrapping. You need a good squeegee. I bought this one from 3M. It's nice and flexible. Has a little felt uh, piece right there. Also got an extra one here if this one wears out. Uh, this is a wrap glove. A really sharp uh, exacto knife and then also a razor blade just in case I need to get into some places and cut some things so this is the tools that I'll be using also you will need a heat gun right, guys I'm gonna set down the camera now and do a quick time-lapse of me cleaning it once again and uh, I'm gonna apply the vinyl right over this fender now I've already pre cleaned the door I'm gonna do that again I already pre cleaned the hood a little bit as well uh, I'm gonna do that once again and then uh, go ahead and apply the vinyl Lately I've been feeling like a renegade, somebody save me Standing in the midst of the crowd, but nobody sees me Starting at the top of my lungs, but nobody hears me All in the name of love, look what you made me all right guys, so there you have it. It's pretty much laid everywhere, all the way around. Perfect laid, no bubbles, uh, no little dust specks or anything like that. Um, if you guys see any kind of imperfections or anything like that, it's gonna go away once the sun hits it. Let, let's say there is a small, you see this little line right there? That's just a crease. As soon as I heat that up, that crease goes away right away. So, <clears throat> This vinyl is very forgiving, um, but also at the same time very not forgiving as well. So if you overheat it, it'll shine because it's matte. And if you overstretch it, it'll shine because it's matte. More glossier type vinyls or anything like that, they would be much easier to wrap because they have, uh, they're not going to shine as much or anything like that if you overheat them or things like that. Um, so I don't know. Again, I've never done this before, so this is my first time doing it. And it uh, looks amazing on this side as well. I'm going to go ahead now and proceed with cutting. 
cutting it would be very easy as well we would have to pretty much just uh, I like to cut on the inside basically not the side that's uh, towards the good side um, I like to cut on the edge of basically of the door here in this case um, so that way it gives me a little bit extra so I can fold under and uh, pretty much wrap under it I'm gonna do the same thing with the hood here as well and I'll have quite a bit here actually I'm gonna make sure I leave quite a bit under here because this part will never peel because I do have that little edge trim that I've showed you guys when I installed my actual fender flares that goes right over the vinyl here so that's basically gonna pinch the vinyl uh, within the metal and it's never gonna actually come off from the bottom side um, over here I went pretty far in previously before I started uh, doing this I did remove the side skirts if you guys don't know how to remove side skirts on the Mazda Speed 3 especially Gen 1 in my case there is one clip on each side uh, which is up here one up here and one on the back side as well in the same place that has to be unclipped from that point on the whole side skirt has clips as you guys can see there's holes all those holes used to have clips I'm getting new ones just because I want to get new ones mine were just a little bit too um, fragile and stuff so I wanted to get some new ones but if you don't want to get new ones those clips will stay on the car what you need to do is push your side skirt once you unclip the first two like I told you there's one up here and one on top over there once you unclip those two then you would have to push the side skirt forward so basically push it from the back side forward and then the side skirt should basically come out now there's also going to be glue around the side skirt here and stuff like that so you're gonna to have to separate that before you do that make sure you get a plastic tool in between and separate all that glue kind of pry on it a little bit um, and once you get the glue apart then you can slide it forward and the side skirt should come out I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with cutting now all right guys so hope you guys can see what's going on here but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this uh, this line here uh, before I do that I'm gonna get my squeegee here nice and clean I'm gonna grab the heat gun I'm gonna heat that edge really well Once I get that edge heated nicely, I'm going to check if there's any bubbles. Obviously there's no bubbles. If you start seeing bubbles, make sure you get those out. And then I'm going to put my squeegee right in between the crack there so it gives it a little bit extra tuck on there. Make sure you guys don't press too much. I'm doing it with the softer side. And then I'll do this side here in just a second, this little angle here. But um, this is what I'm going to do. And then see how it's nice and even now you guys can see the crack pretty good and then I'm gonna go ahead now with my razor blade this is very sharp by the way but I'm cutting away from the door so my razor blade is pretty much away from the door like this and it's, it's basically pointing this way but then I'm resting it against um, the actual door so I'm not scratching the door at the same time <clears throat> and I'm cutting away from the door so because if you cut towards it then you would be scratching the paint off the door on the edge there so you want to put, push it away from it because the opposite side of the edge of the razor blade is not actually is not sharp so it will not score the door that much at all actually if at all it won't even score it if you do it right so just take your time very smoothly you can do it right in the crack if you want to as well you don't have to do all that a lot of people like to use the plastic knife uh, the one that has extra little edges and stuff those are easier to do because you can just show them right in the in the door jam and they will never scratch because you have plastic all around it so uh, I'm doing with a metal one I'm pretty good at cutting things like that so I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing that now I have my finger there as a guide also so it does not you know snap out or do anything like that the blade I'm going straight down again I'm not pointing towards the good side I'm pointing oh actually I am pointing towards the good side but I'm resting it against the door so it doesn't go anywhere and then this side here now I'm gonna have to really wrap it real well before I do that but let me show you guys what happened now as you guys see I cut on the opposite side now I can easily heat that up and tuck it right under I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing this I'll show you this one here on the camera now 
so I'm gonna get it in there nicely and do a nice little slit right there get it all started and you guys can see my blade there he goes is away it's not towards it it's away I'm pushing against the top part and there you have your cut now that can be easily tucked over and you should be good to go hey okay guys I pretty much uh, pre-cut this nicely now so now I'm gonna fold this under and make sure I pull and do it it's gonna be a little bit tensiony at first I've cleaned the inside of the fender as well so it should tack up pretty well but then again remember I told you I had a actual little lip that goes over this so it doesn't let it go backwards so it should be right here let's continue doing this I would apply some heat too after to post heat it and make sure I so under there. I'm gonna do that right now. Nice and soft. Under there. That's all getting covered by the way by the fender flare too, so not even worried about it there you go I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up and finish this top part here and we should be good to go all right boys there you have it all the edges you guys can see are perfect there's not a single flaw anywhere that's just my oil from my actual hand that's gonna just wipe right off and uh, yeah, it looks really good. I love it. It looks grayish on camera. I don't know why. I am filming with my phone, so that's probably why. I'm going to go ahead now and make the hole here uh, for the little light. I'm going to basically make a cross here. So relieve it and then fold it under. Then put the light in. And then reassembly. Went ahead and installed that bulb now. Everything is nice and flush. You can't even tell that it's been wrapped. So that's good. Well, of course you can tell it's been wrapped but anyways uh, I went in and put this little lip that I told you guys that wraps around the whole thing that's basically like a protective little um, rubber type of a deal it has aluminum within it and uh, that keeps everything crimped in there and also uh, prevents from my tire if it ever decides to rub or anything like that um, from prevents from my tire to be shredded in pieces so that's pretty good and also keeps the water out have it guys is already completed looks good there's no flaws or anything like that I've attached the fender flare looks amazing you guys can see there's a little bit of a bigger gap in the fender flare here and there that's because the wheel is actually twisted a little or turned a little bit so that's that we already got a new hood I don't know if I, sh if I showed you guys that on the channel yet I'm pretty sure I haven't because I haven't been uploading for quite a bit I've been uh, dealing with some stuff plus I'm still a little bit sick so you guys can see my voice is a little bit uh, messed up but um we got a new hood it's not new it's used the one that we got from junkyard uh, replaced it replaced also the opposite side fender uh, it's kind of dark but anyways yeah we did replace the fender here and now everything is nice and flush there's no bends or anything like that uh, let me see if I can get yeah there you go I'll light it up here in post and see if you guys can see a little bit better but it lines up great and there's no problems at all uh, so that's great and uh, this side is wrapped as well next thing we're gonna do is cut the hood so we can put the vents back on and then we're gonna wrap the hood but we're not wrapping it before we do the vents because if we do that then the, the little particles that are gonna fly off are gonna melt the vinyl and that's no good so we're gonna go ahead now and call it a night there you have it boys I hope you guys enjoyed that video it was a quick one um, I hope it helped you a little bit of how do you do your fenders and stuff like that it's very easy to do fenders on these cars as long as you have a garage in a enclosed area make sure you clean up the surface very well make sure you clay bar the surface make sure you guys have a razor blade a squeegee and uh, lots of alcohol so you guys can wipe things down and make it always dust free environment I prefer washing the full car completely make sure it's potless 
then put it in a garage don't open the garage and do anything like that and then go ahead and start doing your wrapping um, we're gonna go ahead and do the hood next on this car so that's gonna be fun so stay tuned for that I'm not gonna show you guys how I cut the hood vents and all and install them and all this kind of stuff because I've already done that before in a video so um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching and don't forget what's behind you doesn't matter you better love it.